Hello Crafty family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY projects, I'll be sharing some of my favorite bathroom decor DIYs that you can recreate with these Dollar Tree and low cost supplies. Now as always, the full supply list is down in the description box below as well as all of the helpful links. Now to all of my amazing subscribers and visitors, I wanted to say hey hey and if you haven't subscribed yet, you definitely should so you could be the first to see hundreds of fresh and original craft ideas on my channel. So let's just dive in and get started. We'll need two packs of these five gallon stir sticks from Lowe's for 98 cents and a toilet plunger from the Dollar Tree. Now the first thing we want to do is we need to cut those sticks down to size right below that handle. So here my sticks are all cut and we can go ahead and remove them from the packaging. Now you'll notice one side has measurements and the other side is blank and we're going to make sure when we lay down the sticks they all have the same side facing up. Now we're just making sure that everything is laid out even. And now we're taking our wood glue and we're going to apply it to the side of each paint stick and apply it in place. Now once it's dry enough, we can go ahead and flip it over. Now I'm going to use these large craft sticks to secure on the printed side of the wood sticks in three places. And once these are all dry, we're going to sit these to the side. And now we can take our board and apply the color now that it's dry. So I'm going to use this brown acrylic paint to stain my wood and I have a little bit of water. So I'm going to add a bit of that acrylic paint and mix those together. And then I'm going to apply my stain mix with a rag. Now to add some depth and dimension, I'm going to use this darker brown and dry brush it onto the stain while it's still wet. And then I'm going to take my rag and start to blend it in. Then we're going to take our plunger and remove the handle. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat the staining and dry brushing process on the handle as well. We want to let these both dry thoroughly. Now once these dry, we can go ahead and apply one generous coat of that Mod Podge to each piece. Now here are our pieces all dry. Check out that sheen. Now we can add these brackets that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now we're going to add the brackets to the back side of the shell. So we're going to first remove all of the tags and then we're going to go ahead and test out the alignment. Now in order to create the, the towel bar support, we're going to bend in the end of that bracket just as I've shown here. It's pretty easy to do without any additional tools. And we want both brackets to be bent. So now that they're both bent into shape, we can apply them to our shelf. So I'm going to put these in place and I want to test it out to make sure the bar will fit. And everything looks good. 
So to apply the supports, we're going to use E6000 and hot glue. So we're going to apply a generous amount of that E6000 to the top of the brackets. And then we're going to follow up with a few dots of that hot glue for an instant hold. And then we're going to apply that bracket next to your craft stick as a guide. And once both brackets are in place, we're going to sit this to the side to dry. So now we're going to work on that towel bar. We're going to trim each side out with the nautical rope. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut down two pieces and hot glue them together. And once they're hot glued together, we're going to trim off the ends and we're going to proceed with measuring the distance and making sure we get an exact cut. Then we're going to apply a generous amount of that hot glue around the end and we're going to press that into place. Now we're just going to repeat this for the other side and this project is done. And here is that beautiful shelf completed. Oh my goodness. All we do is hang this with the screws provided and you are ready to decorate this piece. The towel bar fits perfectly and is secured with those rope ends and is removable whenever you want to take it out. And now just add your decorations and you are ready to showcase your creation. Oh my goodness, I just love how this turned out. But you will need two hand towels from the Dollar Tree. In this case, I'm using the bar mop towels since they're a bit thicker than the regular hand towels. We want to start by removing all of the tags and unfolding the towels completely. Now I'll be taking that same ribbon we used for the basket and I'm going to use this as trim for our towels. Now I'm going to cut off two strips that are a few inches wider than the towel. And then I'm going to take one of the towels and I'm going to align that ribbon along the bottom. Now my ribbon has a wire, so we want to make sure we remove that before we adhere it. So now that our ribbon is ready, we're going to go ahead and trim it down to an overlap of about a half an inch on each side. Now typically I would sew this ribbon in place, but to make this DIY easier, I'm going to use this Fabri-Tac permanent adhesive. This option is better than hot glue since it's clear, flexible, and washable. So I'm going to start by folding under each end and securing it in place with the hot, well I mean with the Fabri-Tac. And then I'm going to apply a generous bead of that Fabri-Tac all the way around that ribbon. And then I'm going to apply it in place about an inch and a half from the bottom edge. Then we just repeat this for the second towel and we let these dry thoroughly. And that is it. And here those towels are complete and on a display. This super simple DIY only took a few minutes and they look like towels that you would purchase for much more than a dollar each. I just love Buffalo Check and these are a perfect addition to my farmhouse decor. For this project, we'll need a small basket and they have these in a rectangle and an oval shape from the Dollar Tree and also two bottles with the clasp lid. We'll also need some ribbon of your choice and I got this ribbon from Amazon a while back. So we want to take one of your baskets and remove all of the tags. 
And then we're gonna take that ribbon and we wanna cut a piece that will fit around the basket. Now we're gonna start to hot glue the ribbon in place starting in the middle, front center. And then we're gonna apply hot glue to each one of the sides. And then finally, we're gonna apply hot glue to the back to secure it. Now due to the shape of my basket, there are a few tiny gaps in the back. So to resolve this, I'm just gonna tie a couple of jute string bows on the side of the back center in the back of the basket. And now the front is nice and smooth. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our bottles and we wanna clean the outside thoroughly with alcohol. Now I'm gonna print out the labels provided in the description box below. Now I'm gonna print these on cardstock and I have already provided one that says bath salts and mouthwash, but I've also have two more blank ones for you to customize. Now we just wanna proceed with carefully cutting out both of those labels. Now we're gonna be applying these to our bottles with Mod Podge. Now I needed my labels to curve a little bit to fit the bottles, so I'm gonna take my scissors and run the blade across the back to help it curve. And then I'm gonna apply a generous layer of Mod Podge to the back of the label and apply it to the bottle. And then I'm gonna repeat this for the second bottle. So once dry, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my painter's tape around the bottle into a square shape that fits around each label on the bottles. Now once in place, we're gonna apply a generous layer of that Mod Podge over the label. Now while that dries, I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these chalkboard tags from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna take it and write the word fresh on the front with a chalk pen and I'm gonna hot glue it to the front of the basket. So now that our bottles are dry, we can carefully start to remove that painter's tape. Now, if any Mod Podge seeped under that tape, we're just gonna clean that up with a little bit of alcohol on a soaked Q-tip. And here they are, all done. Now we just fill your bottles with whatever you like and add a bit of greenery to the basket and you are set. Now, I just love how these turned out and better yet, they are so easy to customize. And these are a simple way to add a few convenience items to your guests. need one of these paper towel holders from the Dollar Tree. We'll also need one of these bead decorations from Dollar General for 50% off or beads of your choice. And we'll need one of these circle wood plaques from Walmart for 97 cents. So the first thing we're going to do is to take our paper towel holder and we're going to apply two to three coats of this black satin spray paint. Then we're gonna cut those beads off the Dollar General decoration and we're gonna spray paint those black as well. 
So while those dry, we're gonna go ahead and stain and distress that circle plaque the same way we did for our shelf. And then we're gonna apply that final coat of Mod Podge as well to protect the finish. All right, so now everything is finally dry and we're going to take our plaque and we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take those painted beads and equally space them apart on the back of the plaque. And then we're gonna proceed with hot gluing them in place. Now these will be the feet for our, our toilet paper holder. So now that those are done, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a piece of felt and I'm gonna cut a small strip of it. Now from this, I'm gonna cut small little squares. And then what I'm gonna do is take these little squares and apply one to the bottom of each one of the beads with hot glue, and this will protect our surface. So then we're gonna take our holder and I'm going to apply some E6000 to the bottom. Then I'm gonna follow up with several dots of hot glue for an instant hold. And then we're just gonna apply this to the plaque with gentle pressure and then let it sit to dry and we are completed with this project. And here is the project completed. I just love how this piece perfectly coordinates with the shelf with the wood and metal look. Now this will hold up to three rolls of paper. So you'll always have an extra roll at hand. And I just really love how these little feet look and how everything is tied together. Now for this project, we're gonna be using these little glass jars and they have clear acrylic lids and these are available at the Dollar Tree. So what we wanna do with these is we wanna measure the front of the jars and we wanna make sure we get the width and the height measurement to make sure our labels will fit. And for this jar, it's approximately three inches wide and three inches high on the front. Now this will be important when we go into design space to make our labels. So I'm gonna open up a new project in Design Space and I'm gonna to go to my um, images and search cotton label. Now this will pull up all kinds of cotton labels and I'm just gonna choose one I like. Now below that label, there's an I button and that will um, give you the option to expand and look at all of the labels in the same type. So I'm just gonna go through and choose a few that I wanted for my project. So now I'm gonna add them to the project and they will all appear on the screen and you could just click to separate them. So now all you have to do to these is just go ahead and resize them to the size that you like based on the measurements of the jars that you wanna add them to. Now once all your resizing is done and you are happy with it, you're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click make it to see what it looks like on the mat and you can rearrange these and space them as needed in order to cut them. And if everything looks good, go ahead and continue, add your vinyl to your mat and then cut. Now for this project, we're gonna use the Cricut Glossy Black Permanent Vinyl. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is cut a piece the size that I need to of my project and then adhere it to my light duty mat. And then I'm going to load it into my Cricut machine. And once loaded, I'm gonna click the button to cut out my labels. Now once I unload the mat, you can see the beautiful cutout of all the labels and I'm just gonna proceed with going ahead and weeding everything just like we did for our first project. Now here is the labels and they are all weeded and now I'm gonna put some transfer tape right on top. So once that transfer tape is on top, go ahead and cut your labels apart and now we can apply them to each one of the jars and we do wanna make sure the surface of the jars has already been nice and cleaned. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take the Cricut scraper tool. I am going to scrape on both sides and, and then I'm going to take the label. I'm going to center it on the front of the jar and I want to press it in place. And then take the scraper tool again and we want to scrape across the front of the label and then carefully peel back that transfer tape off of the label. And here is what the jar turned out to look like. Oh my goodness, they turned out so awesome. So now we're going to take our remaining two labels and put them on the other jars. And finally, all three of my jars are completed and I think they turned out perfect. And now that our jars are completed, we can fill them up with all of our supplies. Now these labels turned out so great and they were so easy to resize and design space. And this Cricut Glossy Black Vinyl was perfect for this project too and they will look awesome displayed on my bathroom shelf. Now making these labels just makes me excited to customize containers in all of my spaces in my home. I'll be using this tub with a pavement gray acrylic paint. Now this was from the toy section of the Dollar Tree and we wanna first remove any stickers and we wanna clean the tub with alcohol. So then we're gonna add some random enamel chip chipping around that tub with that acrylic paint. Now we're gonna do this around the bottom and the inside of the tub as well. Now I didn't show this, but I did Mod Podge over the entire tub to seal in those paint accents. And that's it to completing this project. Doesn't, doesn't this look like an antique tub to you? And when it's dry, you just add your accessories and your antique tub is ready to display. This piece is so super cute and no one would even guess that it was a toy. Now these projects were so much fun to make. You guys have got to let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. Listen, if you love Dollar Tree DIYs as much as I do, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. You can also follow me as She's So Crafty EE -E on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. Now make sure you don't miss a video by subscribing and hit that bell to be notified when we go live. It doesn't cost a thing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.